basta sa akin ka sumama na di na ako maghahanap ng iba
was informed about that uh, I would be posted here to Manga. I was uh, checking uh, Twitter and Instagram, so I follow you. Since <laughs> 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 and I have seen a lot of your, of your, of your uh, activities and cleaning the city, cleaning the cafe, and cleaning the streets. Uh, so uh, I must be, I cannot forget how it used to be before, so I am see it now. But I, I followed, I followed the, the activities uh, with, which uh, in a very precise uh, manner, so I was very impressed. You have to do it uh, basically sometimes. Uh, uh, some people don't understand because they don't have the grasp of the real situation. Nowadays, it is very challenging. I think it's more what we need, um, what is really a challenge is um, you get used to things and you don't see it anymore. Like, uh, and it really takes a, a decision to see that uh, it should be done differently. When, when it has, has something develops over years and then it's difficult to say, you say, we change it. Yes, uh, yes. What used to be abnormal became normal. Exactly. That's right. I heard about New York uh, in the 80s about what they did regarding the broken winter concept. And people started to uh, learn that uh, and differentiate these small things that affect our minds and perception outside the community and the way we perceive our scene.
able to go home here. So these are also LGUs in between the Batanga, Papite, Espinas, Paranaque. So, yes, it's a good start. It's a good start that started in Manila. But I think also it's high time for other local government uh, to do the same, so to protect the entire Manila uh, Bay. But it's a good start because somebody did it for that. Uh, for some time, nobody, so nobody wanted to. It's a good start. So we'll have uh, uh, the assessors, uh, the people who assess in a matter of five, seven years, we'll have a cleaner water on that portion. Okay. A lot of fishing boats are still fishing on the sea of the black boats from our neighboring. Oh. Well, we'll continue. What we have done, if there is, we'll just continue to just put things in like this. It's like the, uh, you coming here in Manila and start uh, rearranging the embassy's, uh, your, your house for that matter, the way uh, you put it, it, the way you want it, the way you envision it. So before you put your uh, sofa, sala, utensil, you want them to check yeah. if the lighting is yeah. correct, uh, the water is correct, you know, is, it, is, it, is it filled or anything. Else. So this is the, uh, the basic governance. We want to go back to this while we are doing the long term personal development, we are addressing ISF, environment. We're making more uh, open green space. We're bringing back spaces to the people, the streets, uh, avenues, cars, trying to uh, revive what is left. Uh, are you cooperating with the other mayors? Are they doing the same efforts in, in the other parts of, of Metro Manila? Well, how I wish, but uh, under our uh, existing laws, uh, we have uh, different uh, Ordinances within our territorial jurisdiction. So, maybe there I respect the, the, the challenges also in the respect of cities, but once in a while we have this uh, metronomical position mm -hmm. for the mayors of the metronomical meeting. So, there is a format? That there is uh, an assembly or a forum mm -hmm. or a, a place for us to meet and coincide or try to harmonize. Mm -hmm particular challenges of the metropolis, not only our respective uh, cities. So we do that, we do that but uh, it's still limited. So that's why uh, sometimes we try to call each other and, and do this it's within our boundary. So do the same, so that when I open this road, you open the road there. Connected. That's the same thing that I told you. I was asked the other day about the mass transit. Yeah. That's the thing we can do among ourselves. That's another thing. We'll be here and we'll wait for another, after the building, we'll wait for another five years. We'll start in the next yeah. review. But we have to start the entire yeah. metropolis. When we do it, we plan the entire metropolis. Then we implement it one day at a time. What matters most is that it was a plan. And well planned, fully reintegrated mass transit. So even though one from Corporation A and Corporation B is handling line A and line B, but somewhere along the way, they have to meet. They Coordination. <laughs> Coordination. They have, I know they have business interests, company, yes. same thing. But the government must be in between always and first.
firm law, you have to be the great. Because that's what they did in other countries, and they've been trying to uh, tell them. You know, in Japan, there's so many companies out there. Yeah. I mean, this is something, um, uh, this was also part of my learning process here, this uh, coordination. I think uh, the, the first pillar of primary transit is a very good example. Yeah. Very efficient. Yeah. Very efficient. I mean, sometimes there's, there's what you call wear and tear of things. But generally, uh, at the rate is going since inception and yeah. uh, operation, uh, we experienced less headache. Except that uh, uh, it was not designed to address uh, yeah, mass yeah. migration uh, in metropolis because LRT, first LRT, cross about four cities. Paranaque, uh, Pasa, Manila, and Caloba. How many people do you think for cities? I understand LRT1 is, is transporting more or less uh, 400,000, 500,000 people per day? Most likely. So, so how many people live there? In, oh, in, in the area. Uh, I don't know in with the other cities, city no. Uh, I don't know with other cities, but in our case, Manila has about 1.8 nighttime population, about 3 million data. Mm -hmm. There's a big jump of foot traffic mm -hmm. daily. Yeah. For the simple reason, we host the port the west side of the city. We host the school. We host the national government offices. That alone. And a lot of tourists. That the alone. Uh, exactly. Yeah. That alone, uh, you know, foot traffic will yeah. here yeah. every day. More so with our existing historical sites and heritage for yeah. tourism. So, yeah. Uh, I wrote you one thing and I would like to discuss one thing with you. Sure. Uh, on mentioning tourist uh, sites. Um, I was, uh, which uh, the, the, the issue was, was brought to my uh, attention only uh, earlier this week from, from my embassy staff, and I don't know whether you are aware of uh, the fact that uh, the Berlin um, was um, was donating the piece of the Berlin Wall to oh, the I saw this. The, you know, I, I saw this in LA. Um, no, but it's also yeah. the, the, so this is the translation, the, the original is, is here. Oh. Um, this is the original, but this is the translation. So uh, you, you should probably know it being the, the mayor of Manila that you were donated. So are you donating or it was donated? It was it? donated. I mean, the, the, the issue started in 2014. Or yeah. A uh, formal donation was done in 2014 and it was handed over in 2015, but still we have not found a place for it. Uh, there is a so where is it right now? Uh, Some few copies, uh, this is the piece. Uh, you know, I saw, I, I saw this, the exact, the same portion of this in LA, okay. in downtown LA, uh, okay. in, in one of the buildings there. Okay. It was a uh, place somewhere. Uh, so we, we transported it here in 2015, and the National Museum is, is uh, taking care of it. So far they have it somewhere in the basement, uh, but there is uh, no place for it, and the decision has not been taken where to put it. There has been a decision... So this is Makati? Uh, yeah, but this was just one idea. This is just a design okay. idea. And uh, it was uh, decided that uh, it should be put in, in Rizal Park. This but, part is uh, it's not been uh, done yet um, because uh, there was no back and forth whether the, the air pollution or the, the, the weather conditions would allow it or whether uh, it should be taken there or somewhere else. Uh, so, so I would have to follow up on this because uh, we have, in, in four weeks' time, we have the 13th anniversary of the breaking down of the, the fall down of the Berlin Wall. So we thought we should do a 
ceremony. I know it's too short, four weeks, but at least I would like to follow up on it and show sure. to see what we can do to, to find a, a, a place for this historic piece, uh, which is accessible. So far, it's being sold at the, uh, in the basement of the National Museum. So they it's can, there. Yeah, they really? take care of it uh, to, to, to keep it somewhere, but they, they, they are not the owners of it. I'll be happy to host you within our jurisdiction, within our authority. I have a place in my mind. You are the owner of the city of Manila. Yeah, but it was given to NPDC. That this was a decision, but then a discussion started about the weather conditions. Mm -hmm. And it never, this was uh, three years ago, and it never happened. So the, the, we, we, we should decide. Because I can put it here. Follow up. Should be accessible to, to public. I'll show you. Public. You're an excellency. I hope you don't mind. <coughs> Two minutes. <coughs> I'll show you. This is the newly found mm -hmm. old part. Okay. Uh, when, when we open this, you can see about 30,000, 40,000 people going to this area. I want to put it somewhere there, one of the uh, <coughs> areas, because we're going to put more greens. We're just curing the, uh, the soil, because before there was uh, so many structure in the area. So that's our, uh, one of our heroes. Uh, yes. Actually, he's uh, uh, most famous Manila heroes. Manila Heroes as Andres Bonifacio and the head of our uh, intelligence at the time during the revolution, Emilio Cinto. There, I can, uh, there, if they're the one who okay, yeah. so much vegetation. Yeah. So there is space, there is space, there is space, and there is space, and people go here and, and we conduct events there with regard to our arts and culture every Friday, hosted by our Manila. Uh, to receive counsel. So, so I'll be happy to... Yeah. If you agree, I, I would like to, to follow up on it, to, to yeah. get a decision and to, to yes. have it done and to, to, to make it accessible. You and you tell to, them? Make, to show the, this, this donation to the, to the public. You tell uh, National, national, uh, uh, no, national Museum yeah. to give it to us. We'll be happy to receive it. And we'll put a, a, a good place or uh, place or uh, area where it can be seen so that the, the kids or the youth of tomorrow will see and today and uh, see about well, you know and this uh, history story part of the, the story of the historic yes. relations yeah. I read about it I, I passed that uh, you know, there's this place in LA with yeah. lampposts and there are lampposts urban line urban line Okay. I, I think okay. it, it, that urban line, that lamppost area. The one in Lakma. Um, it's a LA to a yes. LA. There's a building there. Yeah. They got about three pieces of the Berlin Wall. So I read about it. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine? A modern Berlin building. Berlin has to tell a story, uh, yeah. A modern building. In front of it, there's three pieces of wall. Talks about the success of reuniting West and yes. East Berlin. Yeah, I can, I can put it there. This is now, uh, we're planning to call this Heroes Park. Okay. Because this, I mean, this the, the really people cool. here, and the, 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 the monument that, uh, present here is all uh, uh, revolutionaries. Of, uh, yeah, I mean, this would be a very suitable place. Exactly. Uh, the, the, the people went That's why I wanted to, to show, it I wanted to show you. So this is, uh, uh, you know, reunification, it talks about reunification, it talks about revolution, yeah. independence. Uh, so that's why we wanted to call it Heroes Park, that's why. That because there's already two heroes yeah. in this area. Before, there is about uh, 300 plus structure in the area. Mm. For uh, almost one day. We clear it in 48 hours. Now we're starting to cure the, yeah. the uh, soil. Uh, in a few months now, no, in a few weeks now, uh, we're going to put more vegetation in there. Yeah. Because uh, that's where the people will uh, 
ride the public utility vehicle in that area. And this is a mall, this is institution, institution, another institution, and offices. It's, it's literally a busy street. If, if you like, we can uh, appropriate yeah, I, will, uh, yes. I, uh, yeah, I, I just uh, met very shortly the director of the uh, company, but we haven't uh, found the time yet. Jeremy Marks. Yes, Jeremy Marks. Um, and then, uh, but, but I will really like to follow that. It's more from the spirit of our relationship. So, yeah. maybe it should not be kept in the basement. Exactly. That's the first thing. And, and oh. I, would, uh, mm. I will, I will scan the the uh, relevant parts of the file oh. and send it. Uh, oh, what was that? You tell me some point. But we will really receive it and put put it somewhere where the public will have an access and read the file. What does file do? Those kind. It's <laughs> part of our history, anyway. world history. Yeah. Yes, and I understand. And I'll be happy to show it to the people of Manila uh, to have a portion of the world history, world history here in uh, uh, our city. Oh, yeah. I understand it was really also an effort and an initiative of the former Philippine uh, president of Germany yeah. where the Philippine embassy in Berlin is now this is it was not accessible during uh, the, the separation. Uh, it was in, just behind the wall, so in, a, in an area where, where there was really an access to it. So it was, it was in Germany, and we see in Germany also this creating this opening of the wall and making, uh, making possible this, this now very central location. I mean, with uh, Jose Rizal having a different journey, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is so many bridges. Uh, and, uh, just uh, anytime, uh, with all honesty. Rest assured, uh, the moment is given to us. We will put it somewhere else. Well. Quality suits in Manila. Yes, I think, because uh, I don't I want think, to. Yeah, you mean, but uh, uh, most of the uh, most uh, the largest part of the file, uh, the largest part of the file is about how to transport it from the <laughs> mint to Manila. Uh, it's just the other things are just minor issues, but the transport part to the organization and logistics were the, the major issue. Uh, even on, on even another piece of view of the track.
isa lang ang issue it has to be <coughs> uh, inside uh, inside the fiberglass they might think that because it's in graffiti they can just add <laughs> 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 on to it yes. Yes. <laughs> so I have I just thought of it now I just yeah. thought of it now because what I saw I remember uh, there is yes, graffiti but it's a original graffiti done yes. in those times yeah. Like so, so it's profited only from, from one side, the accessible side, which was West Germany, and the East German farm was not accessible, so there is still space for it. So it might be quite a bit Okay, let's go. 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 Let's Artistic value. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll protect. Yeah. Rest assured that good thing that uh, you mentioned about the weather. I don't think about the weather, I'm thinking about how to protect good things. Peace. Peace Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Sure. I'm, I'm going to get my card here. Mr. Charlie Chukdumo is head of our uh, tourism. He's very active in you know, reviving culture, arts, and everything nowadays. Okay. He's very active. We just had our, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you're familiar with Philharmonic, Philippine Harmonic Orchestra. Not yet. I've heard about it, but not yet. They play for free. So it was a statement, and I think they were done by an act of government to the people of Manila, you know, equalizing economic status of our people you know, by playing for free, publicly, you know, through music. Yeah, speaking of, of, of opening the access, and this is the, mm -hmm. the access to the Berlin Wall is coming to Manila. It's already here. Uh, it's already here, yeah. actually, but not uh, uh, in Manila. Uh, in the city of Manila, but not the city government of oh, Manila. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I would also like to give you this uh, invitation for mm. this Tuesday when we are hosting uh, our golf tournament, mm -hmm. which is two parts one for the players and one for the members. Okay. I do golf also. Oh, then you could also come in the no, morning. Golf, 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 golf. Okay. <laughs> 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 of coffee. I don't do really. <laughs> that. No, I used to play, but uh, it was like five, six years ago. More, more. I so, only started half a year ago. And uh, wow. discovered how, how the golf was discovered how much fun it is. Oh, you, if you want, because you're very busy during daytime, if you want to play golf, short short course golf in the evening. Our uh, intramuros <coughs> are open in the evening. And this is amazing that you have a gift in the city. Yes. Uh, the golf course, and this is, I think, uh, very special to Manila. So in the, in the, in the very center. Thank you. Some of you are Yeah. Your Excellency would like to uh, give this to you. Uh, this is a simple token from the people of Manila. Speaks of that they're always welcome to the city of They are the key, you can open the city code. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very honored. And uh, some uh, remembrance from the city cover. Uh, this is a uh, part of Manila and Philippine history uh, printed in the place map. So that you'll be reminded every day when you eat, you'll be reminded of our uh, where we came from and who we are. Better to frame it instead of. <laughs> 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 thank you very, very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I did not this yet. Okay. I will. Uh,
Ya la tarde me quizá.
Hi, uh, Makmak uh, Pablo. Oy, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo sa lahat ng uh, suporta mo sa amin. Uh, mag-iingat ka. I wish you all the best and uh, good health. And may God uh, continue to guide and bless you. And I hope someday, uh, mamit ko kayo. Ha? Ingat ka, maraming salamat. What's up mga tropa peeps?